There is no confidence so sure as false confidence. Originally, I was kind of going to be the point of my channel. I watch different creators and I think, oh, that looks like something I could do and something I'd enjoy. So I thought I would give a little shout out to this one or that one that I learned this or that from, but I always forget where I learned this or that. Well, there's a bee lady. She plays with the bees and the bees seem to love her. It's just fine. And I've seen people mess with bees. And uh, so a bee swarm shows up. So what do I think? Well, I'm in the beekeeping business now. So went on Amazon, spent about $160 for some free honey in the future, maybe. Assuming I can get the queen out of that little swarm. Now, if I'd done it three, almost four weeks ago when they arrived, I might have persuaded them into the box without having to actually mess with them. But they're established. They've formed an actual uh, nest, you know. And uh, so um, I was going to gently remove branches in the general area. I've been working right next to them. Uh, moving stuff. The city's not real happy about the fact that I'm a bit of a hoarder and I've got four Priuses and a farm truck and just whatever I've drug home. So, um, and they haven't bothered me at all. I mean, one time a bee actually flew up, investigated the, the light that was bouncing off my glasses on the inside. It actually went on the inside of my glasses and I'm, ah, and it, but it flew away. It was fine. Uh, they pretty much don't seem to leave the hive. Like, they're within about five feet of it most of the time. Mostly, they just sit there buzzing away, building their little honeycomb. Now, at one point, I didn't realize that I had done it, but I knocked off a little piece of uh, comb. And I heard a little buzz, but then nothing. And the comb fell to the ground. And it was really cool. I was able to show my daughter how it worked. And, of course, she wanted to taste it. And it's just wax at this point because it's not filled. So that was cool, and I was feeling very sciency and very confident. And uh, I'm up the la I'm up on this uh, twenty dollar Goodwill ladder. It's great uh, extension ladder, and uh, I'm feeling sure footed. And I'm it the, the tree needed to be uh, crisscrossed applesauced anyway. So I was cutting out anything that's going to be below because I my um, truck is on the other side of the tree at the moment and the plan is to get on this side of the tree uh, which is right under it and um, so I had to move some things this morning so I can actually physically move my truck which never moves I only own it because I needed my masculinity bask after buying a bunch of Priuses I was just partially up the tree clipping branches gently clip a branch falls to the ground clip a branch falls to the ground they don't care every once in a while a branch moves their little hive just a little bit. They don't care. They're not concerned. It's been great. Got all the way down to the last little uh, branch that went right past them. And I'd already trimmed a small branch off that so that when I did trim it, it wouldn't smack the hive. And uh, I got all of the debris underneath the tree, loaded up on my neighbor's landscaping trailer, just in case they got aggressive and I needed to suit up and drive the truck under and didn't want to drive the truck over mesquite thorns, although big old school bus tires, I don't think it's probably going to hurt it. So I um, was down to my last one, and I went up there, and I filmed it, and I I couldn't film while I was clipping. So I, I don't even know where my GoPro is. It's somewhere. I should be just, it should be filming this from a distance, because it would have been good content later. So I gently snipped through the one that goes within an inch of the hive. And it's below it, so it's not going to hit it. And it, the ends of the branch on that are hung up. So the, the thicker part kind of comes down just a little bit, and it just kind of hang in there like that. And it's kind of hung up on a, on a small little branch over here, and it's attached to the tree, and it needs to go anyway. So I, I think maybe I filmed again, like, look, the bees are cool. They're being nice. I think I, I uploaded that. And then... So I went to clip that little branch <clears throat> that the big branch, which if I had just kind of given that a little tug, it would have come loose. But I figured, well, that's got to come off anyway. When it comes off, they'll both come down. And that one went up, and I didn't realize it had another uh, offshoot that touched something else. So that when it came off, it kind of rolled. And it, I mean, it didn't, I'm sure it didn't hurt the bees, but it alarmed them because it touched the high, it like, it brushed across it. So 
they sent some out. And you know the whole thing about just be calm, don't run, because you're not gonna outrun a bee. You are not gonna outrun a bee. So I tried to outrun a bee, didn't make it. So I'm running and there's there was a f fly that's been harassing me and I've been careful not to swat at the fly just in case it's a bee, but it's fly every time. And this time I feel something kind of right on my bald head right back here and I'm a little bit panicked. Now, normally I'm pretty good about that kind of stuff. Uh, stray dogs, I'm not a huge animal person, but they like me fine and generally they come up barking aggressively at me. Apparently I don't give off that I'm afraid of you pheromone and they look at me kind of funny. That seems to have worked with bees with me too. So I thought maybe I'm one of those bee whispers. but I ran. And when I felt something that it felt like it was kind of in in my in my glass like right around my glasses and and I'm swatting at it and I swat my glasses off my head. Now my glasses I need for seeing this uh, phone and up to about six or seven feet. Anything after seven feet the glasses don't really help. And I can't really see for seven to twelve feet. And then at twelve feet I can see great and I can see two hundred yards down the road. Very, very far-sighted. Not far-sighted when it comes to the whole uh, getting stung by a bee thing. So anyway, it nailed me right behind that. And I have been trying to film what it looks like. I finally had to have my daughter take a picture. She was quite annoyed because uh, it took time away from watching YouTube for her to take a picture so I could see what it was. I managed to get a little bit of a video of it, and it did look like there was a stinger in there. So I gently, and I, I believe I got it out. So what I did was I did some uh, ichthamol, you know, drawing salve, and had my daughter bandage it up. Hopefully it's on, I don't know. I'm sure it looks attractive. But uh, anyway, you're, there's no confidence like false confidence. When you have no reason to be confident, but you just are. Because you don't know what you don't know. And I still think I did more or less everything's sort of right. I think if I just had the courage to just play freeze tag with the bees, then I would have plausible deniability. You know what I mean? They didn't they didn't they didn't see me touch the thing. The thing that touched them was touched by something that I had touched before and I had clipped it and I was starting down the ladder when it all when I heard the a little bit of a they, they didn't get like the whole hive, they're, they're busy. They're busy. It wasn't like an all hands on deck, red alert, whoop, whoop, whoop. It was just a couple of bees were concerned, but it, and they took off. 